Hello everybody, this is Kelly Stamps. I will be your professor this evening. Well, I see that you have nothing better to do in your quarantine, so you might as well tackle those demons. One of them is your overspending. But don't worry, I am here to help you. Today's lesson is minimalism. 101. I am not a financial advisor. I am just a meme with discipline. And I was asked to make this video. I am transitioning from being an employee to self-employed. And I'm able to quit my job and take this risk because I have savings. I knew for a long time that I was not meant to work for somebody else. I am way too creative and I hate being micromanaged. I am just now believing in myself. And I also have the savings to make the bold move. I got here by being disciplined and accounting for every single cent that leaves my bank account. A lot of you have asked me, Kelly Stamps, how do you save money at 23? It is impossible. It's not impossible. I just don't have friends, so I don't spend money. Minimalism 101. Get rid of things you don't need. You don't need friends. They tempt you to go out for $15 cocktails. I'm just kidding. You don't need to get rid of your friends, but you do need to get rid of those bad spending habits. Overspending on transportation. This one is hard, especially if you live in a large city where you do need a car. I choose to live and work in Santa Monica. For the past three years, I've gotten everywhere in Santa Monica by the big blue bus. There is a bus stop right at the end of this block. It takes me downtown. You can connect there. It takes me to UCLA. Is it glamorous? Absolutely no. Do I ride the bus in my Chanel shoes? Yes because I don't care. While I do have a vehicle, I choose to ride the bus 99% of the time. It costs me $1.25 to get anywhere where I want to go. And boy, do I have many good crackhead story times coming for you. I've been called the N-word to my face on the bus with the hard R. Someone spilled coffee on my outfit, but I've taken the bus for years and these are just two bad incidents. It's safe, it's convenient, and it's nice to take your eyes off of the road and just sit back on your way to work. I have read so many newspapers, I've listened to podcasts. Get rid of your car, get a bicycle, or learn your public transit, and you can just watch my YouTube videos on the way to work. But maybe this stuff is too hard for you. Maybe you live in a place like Texas where you do need a car to get across town. Let's move on to your other bad habit, overspending on nightlife. As you can probably tell from my channel, I entertain myself for the most part. I don't need to go out to have fun. In fact, I avoid people at all costs. But once every other month, I would say I go out and have a night of fun. And I make it fun because I strategically budget how much I'm going to spend that night and I know how to say no to people. Back in the day, my best friend Katya, who also is on the west side, and I would go out to West Hollywood because that's where all the clubs are in Los Angeles. We would take an Uber from Santa Monica, which would cost maybe $18. It doesn't sound like a big deal yet. We go out, we do some dancing. We don't really dance. We would just run across the club everywhere. Then maybe we go out to a bar after. There's, oh, $15 drink. Oh, another drink. Let's get two drinks. Okay, $30 now. Then we have to go home. So you have to get another Uber from West Hollywood to Santa Monica. Now it's peak hour, so it's probably like $25. You cannot spend more than what you earn in a day going out in a night. Now that I'm grown, I don't care for the club anymore. Instead, I've discovered cheaper activities. There's a place called Saki House. It's down on the promenade. It's a Japanese bar situation with sushi. Gang, gang, what's up, guys? It's Kelly Stamps. Welcome to my YouTube channel. We make our own rules here. Yes! Fantastic happy hour. $4 Sapporo and all I drink is Sapporo and sake anyway. I also discovered karaoke. I mean, big shocker. I kind of am a K-pop idol or A-pop, African-American pop idol. Of course I love singing. I can't sing, but I have enthusiasm. I love karaoke. And in order to get the song, all you have to do is buy a drink and the drinks are already like $4. And how do I get to these karaoke spots? You guessed it, the big blue bus. I walk down the street in a cute outfit. I'll just cover it up with a jacket, you know. I have to walk past Compliment Corner. I hate this corner. It's where all of the crackheads sit outside and they're like, Hey sis, can you spare a dollar? He's gonna ignore a brother like that? Your legs must be tired running through my mind all day. I know all of their compliments. I'm used to it. So I take the bus, get off on Sautel, walk for maybe 
nine minutes and I'm there. This saves me $15 in an Uber. I go to karaoke, I sing my heart out. I embarrass myself, I have a grand time. Sometimes everybody goes home at the end of the night and I'm still there singing. How do I get home? Not by the bus, I take an Uber. On to your next bad habit. Perhaps you are not spending wisely on your clothing. Minimalism does not equal being cheap. Class, repeat it. Minimalism does not equal being cheap. Minimalism is buying what you need and nothing else. Let's take a tour of my closet, shall we? Class, rise. It is tempting to want to buy trendy things from online boutiques. I know, I was once like you, until I became a reformed minimalist. Class, tell me, what do you see here? No. Yes, thank you. Repeat what you said again, yes. Yes, yes, that too, expert finger spacing, but no, you see a color scheme. My color scheme is black and white, black and white, black, white. Oh, what is that I see? Is that yellow? That is a pop of color. That's okay. Pop of color is okay. This is a linen dress from Reformation. This is the perfect summery spring dress. It can be dressed up or down. I choose to have a classic pattern. Class, what does this scream to you? Yes, th in the back, say it louder. Correct, Jackie O. This is a classic print. This coat is from Reformation. Faux fur cuffs for extra feminine detailing. This is actually very heavy. My arm is beginning to hurt, so I must put it back. But this is an example of when it is okay to add a pattern to your minimalist wardrobe. This is a trend, but it is a trend that will never die. Houndstooth and herringbone and polka dots. You can't go wrong with those. These are timeless patterns. You already saw the Miss Jackie O coat, so we'll move on to the dress section. Black dress from Reformation. Buttons down the middle. You decide how sexy you wanna be. Do you want to be the good little Puritan girl? That's fine, keep it buttoned all the way. Do you wanna show a little leg? That's okay, unbutton a couple. This dress can be worn with sneakers, or you can dress it up and wear over the knee boots. The opportunities are endless. I have some top and bottom sets here. This is from Aritzia, by the way. I have two cashmere sweaters. These were both, I believe, $98. This is a quality cashmere t-shirt. This just gives a little hint of preppiness and class. This is from Everlane. When I heard about Everlane, I thought, wow, a store that is ethical and, quote, radically transparent. But truth is, they're just radically transparent about how unethical they are. They totally use sweatshops. They just tell you exactly where their sweatshop is. This says Dong Guan, China. But truth is, it's hard buying 100% ethical, non-sweatshop free clothing. And it's very expensive and difficult to do so. Truth is, no brand is actually 100% free of human exploitation. Companies have to profit somehow. But I consider this saving money because if you spend more money on a pair of jeans from let's say Reformation, these are going to last you a very long time. Too long didn't read, buy clothes that will last you forever so that you don't end up selling things that you need to buy things that you want. Trust me, I've been there. There was a point where I had $3 in my checking account years ago. And what did I do? I sold a lot of my clothes from Brandy Melville down at my local crossroads, they gave me 20 bucks for it and I went and bought chicken stars, which leads to my next topic, food. You are spending way too much money on food. I have a bad habit. I go and eat sushi. That costs way more than my rent. What have I done to combat this? I started shopping at my local Japanese market. It turns out they have sashimi that's already sliced and ready to go. I can make my own sushi at home. The pieces that they sell are this big and sometimes they're $7, sometimes they're $8. But let's say I am craving tonkatsu. No problem, you know I love my tonkatsu. I go find my pork loin at the local market. They're usually $3, sometimes $5, for three pork loins. If you go to a Japanese restaurant, usually the meal is somewhere around $13, which doesn't sound like a lot of money, but it is because 
with that pork loin package, I can make three meals with my rice cooker and all of my rice I have. I had a bad habit. I would go down to the promenade every weekend, Saturday morning, and get the lunch special, the bocce shrimp. With a tip, it comes out to maybe $16, which is not a lot of money at all for a fresh cooked meal in front of you. You know, the chef does this act, act surprise, like, oh, it's the heartbeat, again. I thought I couldn't make it at home because darn, I need to make that ginger sauce. Apparently it's super hard to make, it's really not. I got some soy sauce, I put it into my ninja blender. I usually pour in some lemon juice, a little bit of white vinegar, and I chop up that ground onion, put it into the blender, and I use that 15 cent ginger, 15 cents that I got from the market, grate it a little bit, put some fresh ginger in there, blend it all together, and wow, you have the Benihana brown ginger sauce. All I have to do is cook the shrimp on the skillet. It doesn't take long, because you know shrimp cooks very quickly. Within a few minutes, I have a um, hibachi Benihana, Beni Stampa style meal, and I am more than pleased with it. Sometimes I will make this meal, plop it into my little bento box, put it in my lunch pail, and take it to work. Well, class, that is all I have for you today. Oh, you're already leaving. Oh, okay rude. Well, thank you for sticking behind. Ah, okay, well, this was Minimalism 101 with Kelly Stamps. Thank you for watching class. You were dismissed. Well, everybody already left, so it's just you. You're dismissed. Be sure to do your studying because next week's video is going to be Reformation Looks on a Budget. I'm going out of my way to find dupes online of your favorite trendy brands that are expensive and turning them into affordable outfits. Stay tuned! Thank you.